I'm Patrick and this is Dublin. This is the Hapney Bridge, a 200 year old iron footbridge. Called the Hapney Bridge because it used to cost a half penny to cross it. I think this is the centre of Dublin. From here you can see over a thousand years of history. Ancient Ireland where they used to cross the river by a ford, the Viking trading port, the Norman Castle, on both sides of the river, 19th century British dominated commerce and industry, and down the river here, the financial services centre, the 21st century German invasion. Okay, we're on O'Connell Bridge, the famous O'Connell Bridge over the River Liffey, which divides the city into north side and south side. Two tribes that don't really like each other very much. Two jokes illustrated. What's a north sider in a suit? The defendant. How does a south sider get a job? He calls daddy. There's lots of interesting stuff on the north side, including the famous Millennium Spire, but we're not going there today. So this is the boardwalk, a very pleasant place for a walk or, or a sandwich or a coffee. But don't be surprised if some young citizen stops and asks to sell you something illegal or asks you to fund their habit. This is Meeting House Square in the heart of Temple Bar. Up here there's four giant umbrellas so they can put them up in the summer and you come here and they show you a movie. Sometimes it's a black and white movie on a screen here and over here they open up the stage and they have a live orchestra. Fabulous. The reason we're here now is because within 50 meters of each other you've got the Gallery of Photography and the National Photographic Archive. Fabulous place to spend an hour if you're interested in anything digital imagery. This is where the Vikings pulled up their longboats and they called it Dublin, the Black Pool. In Irish, Dublin, now the name of the city, Dublin. This is one place you must not miss if you come to Ireland, the Chester Beatty Library. Sir Alfred Chester Beatty was an, an American copper baron who used some of his plundered wealth to plunder treasures from all over Asia, Africa and Europe. Here you'll find a Bible that's 600 years older than the Book of Kells. You'll find one of the oldest Korans in the world and immense treasures of Asian and Muslim art. You should go. Christ Church Cathedral is one of two and a half cathedrals in Dublin City. We won't go into the half one right now, but it's definitely worth a visit on your itinerary. It's a thousand years of history, first established by the Vikings, rebuilt by the Normans. You come in here and they'll give you an excellent tour and an explanation of all that history. Wow, look at this. We're at the back of St. Audien's Church, and this is part of the 13th century city wall and gate built by the Normans. It's fantastic. It's not really on the main tourist trail, but it's conveniently on the way from Christchurch to the pub. Let's go. This is the oldest pub in Dublin, one of several. It's from sometime in the late 12th century. And it's obvious why, actually, because nearby is the oldest river crossing point of the Liffey. But a good reason for you to come here is that you're guaranteed traditional Irish music every night of the week. When you're walking back from Christchurch or the Brazen Head pub, make sure to come along by the river in Wood Quay. You'll pass this fabulous building. This is Cleana Dukes, manager of the Smock Alley Theatre Company, the oldest theatre in Ireland. Cleana, this is the oldest theatre, but it was lost for a long time, wasn't it? It was indeed. It opened in 1662 um, and then only lasted 120 years, closed down and has been in several guises as a whiskey store, as a church. Uh, it closed completely in 2002 and a small group of people realised that this was the site of the old theatre. Uh, and had archaeological dig and found the old theatre site and have renovated it. And you can see the original walls here. Everybody goes to the Guinness storehouse to see how they make Guinness, but I think this trip is even better. This is the Jameson distillery where they show you how to make whiskey. Don't try it at home, but they'll t show you how it's made and they'll show you how to taste it. They'll give you a certificate at the end to show that you're a master taster, but here's a word, 
don't be shy when they ask for volunteers at the end. This is the still room where they distill the alcohol into that lovely spirit. Notice there are three pot stills. American whiskey distilled once, Scotch whiskey distilled twice, Irish whiskey like Jameson three times for purity. Like most cities, you can take a bus tour and see the sights and hear something of the history, but a better way, believe me, is to take a walking tour where the guide will make you laugh and tell you some facts as well. Even better, if the weather's good, maybe you should look on the web and find yourself a cycling tour. You'll see more in a shorter time. For high fashion shopping, you probably want to go to Grafton Street near here. But for something funkier, for something classic, secondhand, pre-loved, you want to come here. George's Street Market is a great place. Where'd you get the jumper? St. Stephen's Green. A few hundred years ago, this is where the English hanged their felons in public. Now it's just a place to hang out. This is my friend Wolf Tone, here at the corner of St. Stephen's Green. Our great hero from 1798, the Republican who wanted to unite Catholic, Protestant and dissenter. We also have a thousand pubs. From here, I can see six. Pint of Guinness and half a dozen oysters, please. You need to be patient. It's not done yet. You know it's ready when below the white line it's completely black. No more white or brown. All black. So it's ready. Cheers. You have to drink it slowly. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's perfect. Some people come to Dublin just to see this architecture. Georgian houses of the rich. You can see how the windows get smaller as they go higher. A bit like the effect of the columns on the Acropolis in Greece. Pleasing to the eye. But it actually says something about social position at the time. The big windows, where the master and his wife and family live. The small windows at the top, that's where the servants lived. If you want to go into one of these beautiful Georgian houses, you can. You can go online and make an appointment to visit number 29 Lower Fitzwilliam Street. We're in Kildare Street, right in the heart of Dublin Central. Here is the National Library where they'll help you research your Irish family history if you like. Over here is Leinster House, our Parliament building. That's where they got us into the mess we're in right now. But here is the reason that we're here, the National Museum Kildare Street branch. There are treasures here, gold, stone idols from 4,000 years ago when Ireland was last rich. tell you more but we've done a lot and life is short but I'd like to leave you with three words you need to understand crack in Ireland crack is the atmosphere when we're having fun with friends slagging slagging is the way we talk to each other we insult you it's like your mama in America only with a bit more intellectual give and finally slawn slawn is the Irish word for safe so long so slawn You know it's ready when below the white line it's completely black. <laughs>